Hello, this is Trudy with True and Healing Travel, and today I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Now, I have been coming here um, numerous times this fall as an acupuncturist at sea. I, I spend my days, some of my days off here, and so I've got to get out and explore, and I've been putting it all on video. So I'll be sharing with you all there is to see and do here in Halifax. Now, just to kind of give you an idea, the harbor here is the heart and soul of everything. Uh, it's one of the largest and deepest in the world. So, and the and the boardwalk along here is about two and a half miles long or, or four kilometers. So it's, it's amazing. Um, anyway, um, come along and join me. I hope you enjoy and let's see Alright, so I'm in front of Pier 21 and the Boardwalk of Halifax and the Immigration Museum. This is equivalent to the American Ellis Island, as in in the 20th century more immigrations came through here than anywhere in Canada. So we'll start the boardwalk tour there. Alright, so outside the Immigration Museum there's a nice placard that says after the Second World War, nearly 187,000 people fled from devastated Europe to Canada, including Holocaust survivors, former prisoners of war, and thousands who were unable or unwilling to return to their pre-war homes. So most arrived here by ship between 47 and 52 before making their way to across Canada. So I think that's interesting. And then they've also got this old railway car and I wanted to point out they're they're hop on hop off they use antique buses which is cute okay I have some interesting art on the boardwalk this sculpture is of street lights um, doing human things <laughs> very interesting and uh, just to kind of give you an overview of the boardwalk so this is where I'm headed Okay, so walking along the boardwalk, it could not be a better day. <clears throat> and looking out on the water, that is Port Charlotte on that island and a lighthouse. So one thing about the Maritimes, you know you're there if you see the brightly colored Mar Adirondack chairs. I think that's cute. Anyway, this is a very pleasant place to sit. And there's a lot of food places over here. We'll go take a wander through. All right, and there's a nice uh, courtyard with different food stands. And of course, of course, the Putin, I'm not sure I pronounce that right, but it's uh, popular in this part of the world. It's French fries with cheese. And uh, we also have yeah, there have the other things here. It looks like Cows is closed. It's a not popular ice cream that's made in Prince Edward Island. Anyway, I have to say, September is a great time to be here. I've never seen it so not crowded. It's just pleasant. All right, folks, I am really happy right now. I just got my lunch. I got a bean burrito and I'm sitting on these nice chairs right on the waterfront. And uh, so I'm going to have my lunch and then we'll continue the exploration. Bon appetit! All right, so I have walked by this several times and I'm going to take it to the top and see what kind of a view we have here. All right, so we're at the top here. And see what we got for a view. this is the, the elevator's not working but <laughs> so this looks really interesting I've never been in there but it's the Canada's Naval Memorial and uh, this a visitor center here is very nice I've been here before it's very helpful lots of information and I'll take a little walk down the boardwalk here before heading up George Street so just um, on the boardwalk, if you come around on the street side, is the entrance to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. Now this is an incredible museum, I've been here before. 
on Water Street is the entrance. All right, so coming up George Street, uh, there is the iconic clock tower. This is a symbol of Halifax, and that's at the base of the Citadel. So we're going to be going up there. All right, so we're entering the Citadel here. Looks like there's the moat. Here we go. And it was just 8.50 to get in, so that's not bad. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna walk around the Citadel. It looks like you can pretty much take a path and walk around it. This is a, a Victorian fort that was actually never had to be used, but you know, it was there to defend Halifax. And also I was reading that Halifax was at one time the most uh, had the most defenses than any other city in North America so I find that interesting so we'll take the path around the Citadel and see what we find okay so I am at St. Paul's Anglican Church and I'm here to find the face in the window. And I found it. So I'm on Argyle Street. So it's on that side of the building. And the sun is just getting ready to... I'm standing right in front of it. It's the one where it's still in this, the first one that's still in the shade. It's as close as my GoPro will go. But you can see a face in the window, in the, the top right. And a silhouette and evidently what happened when there was the massive explosion here um, it was early 20th century don't have the exact date but it was a monumental explosion and evidently um, one of the deacons was standing next to the window and because of the heat and the light his, his um, silhouette there was etched into the glass of the window so that is the mystery there so whether it's true or not I know there's another story as well but uh, very eerie I can't imagine someone just put that there and made this story up but actually I can but <laughs> all right so right across from the province house is the art gallery of Nova Scotia now I'm gonna be going in here to see the exhibit of Maude Lewis she is a popular folk artist from Canada and in spite of having rheumatoid arthritis was extremely prolific and not only with her art but she actually painted her house as in everything in it so they have a display of her house here um, her art and um, you can learn a little bit about her life so I've been here before but I want to come see it again and by the way there is a movie called Maudie about her life and it's um, a great movie. So let's go see the exhibit. All right, so we're here at the Maude Lewis exhibit. Her house, her art, her legacy. Here's a picture of her. It's cute. And then there's White Cat. This one's a popular one you see. She must have liked cats too. So this is her house. They actually moved it and brought it here, restored it to have at the at the art gallery. It gives you an idea of how she painted everything. Such detail. She lived her art for sure. And they have an example of this door. And just like the ideas of her artwork. Alright, so right across from the art gallery is the province house. And uh, I'm not going to go in there. This is the Parliament of Nova Scotia. 
and you can do free there's free tours inside and uh, yeah, it's really nice there's some interesting garden and statue right there How do you pick the prettiest? All right, I'm at Garrison Brewing and I've got myself a sampler here. And this is the perfect way to end a day in Halifax. All right, I am at the Fairview Lawn Cemetery, which is the largest final resting place for Titanic victims. You can see the sign here. And basically, if you see these two rows here, and then this third row here, um, yeah, it's a marking for, um, it's a, pr a little over 100 graves. I don't know the exact count. But yeah, it's very eerie to see this exact same date on so many graves. April 15th, 1912. And uh, I did find Jack Dawson's grave. Or I don't know what, I guess these are just monuments. I mean, I don't see that they're where their bodies actually are. Cause anyway, Jack Dawson, little did this person ever know he'd be immortalized by Leo DiCaprio. All right. But that is about the extent of it. A couple of them are a little bit more elaborate. Very deeply mourned. Lost on SS Titanic. I thought this one was particularly sad to the to the memory of an unknown child whose remains were recovered after the disaster to the Titanic they did put here Sydney if actually they probably eventually figured it out Sydney Leslie Goodwin oh two years old oh all right so that that's about it but uh, I'm really glad I came to give my respects to these souls that left us in 1912. All right.